So uh, the very best way to learn about otters that I can think of is to get out on the water and watch them. So I met up with my friend Ron Eby, who's this amazing naturalist at the Elkhorn Slough National Estuary Research Reserve. And he gave me a tour of the most amazing sea otter habitat on the planet. Hey Ron, it's Hi. good to see you. Oh, good to see you. I'm so glad you could come here to Elkhorn Slough. Thanks for having me. This is the center of it. Right here you'll have more otters than you'll see anywhere else. <laughs> this has the highest density of otters in their entire range. Nice. Both males out here and females on down. So, let's get going. Let's go see some otters. Let's do it. Elkhorn Slough sits in the heart of the Monterey Bay. It's one of the largest estuaries in California and provides vital habitat for hundreds of species, including sea otters. You're really going to love this place. We're guaranteed to see otters and we'll get to see them foraging, we'll get to see them interacting. Ron Eby is part of a team of scientists, conservationists, and volunteers who are committed to protecting this place. This is one of 27 National Estuarine Research Reserves, they're called. And it's really kind of a unique thing. An otter right there. Almost walked by him, it's so busy talking. So that's probably one of the females that are in this area. Southern sea otters are listed as a federally threatened species, with less than 2,800 otters in the wild. They range from just south of San Francisco to a bit north of Santa Barbara. Okay, here are the basics. The sea otter is a carnivore that feeds on shellfish, crabs, sea urchins, and other marine invertebrates. They require a healthy ecosystem to provide this food, but otters also have to be smart. In fact, they're one of only a few animals that have figured out how to use tools, often picking out a favorite rock to break open hard shells or pry prey from the sea floor. When they get a good system worked out, they sometimes store their favorite rock or extra food in a loose fold of skin under their tiny arm. It's just like a pocket, but it's just a fold of skin. It's not like a kangaroo pouch. Uh -huh. It's so loose that they can actually fold the skin over like that and wow. then just hold stuff in there. So they can hold a tool in there, or they can hold like multiple crabs in there. When you're sitting there watching them and you want to do a, like a foraging survey, and so you're writing down, you're telling the person that's writing, okay, it's got a clam, oh, it's got another clam, oh, it's got another clam, oh, it's got another clam, because <laughs> they'll just sit there and they just as quick as can be, they'll take, especially these smaller clams, their paws are so strong, they just twist them like that, pop it Whoa. open. So it's just, just that quick, it's like eating popcorn. Sea otters are among the smallest marine mammals, growing to about four feet long. Males tip the scales at around 65 pounds, and females weigh about 45. Their average lifespan is approximately 15 years, and they reach sexual maturity at around four years old, when females can give birth to one pup per year. So sea otters are one of the most recently evolved marine mammals, and you might think that they'd be related to seals and sea lions, but they're actually more closely related to weasels, badgers, and minks. They're in the mustelid family, but they're one of the only ones that lives in the ocean. Right now, we've seen three different mammals in here. We've seen the seals, we've seen the sea lions, and we've seen the otters. And each of them are totally different. The seals and the sea lions are related. They're pinnipeds, uh -huh. okay? And what a pinniped is, they had evolved much longer ago, and they had the blubber, that's what keeps them out. You notice all of them are kind of like fat hot dogs and yeah. uh, like that. Otters, though, are totally different. So first of all, they don't have that blubber. Yeah. So they evolved a lot later. And so what they do is they have this really dense fur. And they say, some say it can be up to a million hairs per square inch. You know, it's not that way everywhere. But you figure most people, if I wasn't bald, I'd have about 100,000 hairs on my whole head. And they can have a million per square inch. So all of that hair it's really two different types. They have, in close to their skin, it's really dense fur, really light, very delicate, and that can hold the air. So they end up having like a dry suit on. So sea otters have this really thick fur, but it's just a start. They also have to have an incredibly high metabolism just to stay warm in this 52 degree water. So they're constantly eating and grooming and hunting just to stay alive. They eat up to 25% of their body weight every single day. And for mother sea otters, it's even harder. They have to feed and care for a pup too. Raising a pup is very demanding. 
otters are right at that edge, you know, where they're just getting enough food to survive and, and meet all these caloric demands of keeping that high metabolism going and all. So it's a very demanding time for a mother otter to have a pup. And their pups are not uh, like other animals. They wouldn't know how to take care of themselves. You know, so they, they haven't learned how to forage. They have to be taught what they can eat and how to get that food. Uh, or how to eat a crab without getting bitten. Yeah. You know, how to take the claws off. Yeah. All of those things they have to be taught by their mother. So they're, they don't have that instinct to survive. So unfortunately, if an otter gets separated from its mother uh, before it's been taught how to survive on its own, it won't make it. Being a sea otter is tough. They need to work hard for a living. But this place is pulsing with life. And for people like Ron, who get to witness it each day, Every day out here with the otters is an exciting adventure. Thank you. I'm oh, glad you came today. I just always am happy to be out here. It's every time I come, it's something new. Something we see new. something great. Uh, so let's do it again. Yeah. Let's stay in touch. And Good. anytime you want to come, we'll go out. So you wouldn't think it to look at them, but sea otters are really pretty extreme. They're living life on the edge. And I guess I just realized that. You know, they need productive, healthy ecosystems like Elkhorn Slough to get enough food to survive. And that's pretty much up to us.